This video will introduce you to the fed.colorado.edu Collisions Lab Simulator. To find the simulator, search for PHET simulations and click on the simulations submenu. Narrow your search to physics Scroll down until you find the collision lab. Make sure that the version that you will be using is the up-to-date HTML5 version. Do not use the Flash Player version as it is no longer secure. Let us first familiarize ourselves with the simulator by going to the introduction level. First, let us explore the main display. What you are going to see are representations of two objects, one and two, of masses 0.5 kilograms and 1.5 kilograms respectively. The arrows represent their velocities at the time displayed. You can play the simulation, pause, and even go stepwise backwards or forwards in small time increments. It is often recommended that you slow the simulation down so that you can catch the interactions between the objects. You can always reset the simulation. You can change the masses of the two objects using the sliders, but to be more mathematically precise, click on the checkbox More Data, where you can type in the data precisely within the limits allowed by the simulator. You can also manipulate initial position, or velocity. Because this is a collision lab, what we are looking for is the behavior or the momentum of the objects and of the simulation as a whole. Notice that the simulator automatically calculates the momentum of each individual object for you by multiplying the mass and the corresponding velocity. This way, when adding up the momentum for the whole system, you can verify conservation of momentum. Now turn your attention to the options 
in the upper right hand corner. Notice there is already a checkbox marked for velocity. This turns on or off the display for velocity vectors in your diagram. You can also display the calculated momentum vector for each object instead of the velocity or both. Given an initial setup, the simulator can also display the change in momentum for the objects. The center of mass can be calculated for you throughout the simulation. As well as the total kinetic energy of the system. Notice that this is a way to check the elasticity of the system as only with 100% elasticity is kinetic energy also conserved after the collision. If you would rather have the values for velocity and momentum displayed at all time, you can superpose those values or at least their magnitudes onto the picture. You can experiment with the degree of elasticity of the system as to how it affects outcome of velocities versus total momentum. Remember that theoretically, Regardless of elasticity, the total momentum of the system will still be conserved. Finally, let's take a look at the momentum diagram. This diagram will show the momentum vectors for each of the masses, if it's non-zero, as well as the vector sum of those momenta. Notice that adding up the vectors tail to head we get the total momentum vector for the system, which in the absence of any outside forces to the system should be conserved. There are other modes of the simulator. Perhaps the most important is exploring two-dimensional collisions. In this exploration, 
it is still recommended that you will change the simulator to run slow and you click the box more data for more precise initial input. You can once again check such things as calculating total kinetic energy of the system, changing elasticity if you wish, as well as checking on the momentum diagram. Notice there is an extra checkbox here called reflecting border. The reflecting border acts as an immovable outside object. Hence, it will introduce an outside force to the system if any of the objects are interacting with it. If you are trying to explore conservation of momentum in each of the dimensions x and y without interference from outside forces, you should uncheck reflecting border. Finally, you can change the number of objects included in your system. You can explore the collision of an object with a wall by reducing the number of objects to one. Or you can explore the conservation of momentum in a complex system involving up to four objects. This concludes this tutorial. Have fun!